Hey guys. So uh, today I rooted my smart TV. Here it is. Uh, it's a Vizio E60-C3. I'm going to post the firmware version info in the description for anyone who is interested. Uh, this is a just a quick video to sort of show what I found and hopefully provide anyone who wants to play with it enough info to get started. Once I get more time, I'm probably going to do more. I haven't done all that much at this point. So, uh, I got started online, sort of doing some research around this, and other people had rooted these before, however, they did them on older firmware versions, and also when they did it, they physically opened the device. I didn't want to do that, so I rooted my TV entirely using software. If you do this, you will not need to open your TV or deal with any uh, hardware aside from the flash drive. Uh, also, for completeness, uh, let me just say that before I show this off, I am not responsible if you break your TV, so continue at your own risk. So the old hacks I saw for this were based on the Wi-Fi password. Uh, that does not work anymore, but fortunately you can still enter an invalid Wi-Fi network name to run shell commands. Uh, but the name field is unfortunately limited to 32 characters, which was infuriating. So, uh... I started playing around with it, and I got some interesting results. Here you can see I entered AZ, and then some shell escapes. And that's on the left, and on the right I ended up with the TV attempting to join a Wi-Fi network name called AZ third underscore INI. So that's the name of a file on the device, presumably, uh, so that's cool. Uh, this on the right is, by the way, Aero Dump. Uh, right now it's just spitting out uh, Wi-Fi probes, which is basically the attempts of devices to join a Wi-Fi network. Pretty much I just got the TV to substitute a file name into the name of the network it's trying to join. So I took this a bit further. And here's a demo of me getting the mount point to my flash drive when I plug it into the TV. So this is a uh, this is again a copy of Aerodump running on my laptop. Over here you see uh, I'm typing in a funny name into the Wi-Fi join box. And then over here you can see um, it's actually tried to join a network and it's substituted in for the name of the network the full path to uh, a file on my flash drive. So if we zoom back a little bit, um, this is actually just trying to uh, this command is just trying to find a file across all the files on the TV and it just so happens that I've added that file to my flash drive just AA11. So we got the mount point of the flash drive that's uh, slash dev sorry slash mount slash temp mount uh, USB SDA1 Uh, and beyond that, that was pretty much the Eureka moment there. Uh, past that, there wasn't too much work left to be done. Mostly just, here's a text version of the command I used. You just enter sh space slash temp slash mount slash usb slash sda1 slash r. Uh, and what this will do is attempt to run the script called r on your flash drive. So on this flash drive I have the file called R. It's just a uh, shell script. 
and in this case all this would do is one mount the flash drive as read write I do believe that when you plug them in by default they're read only uh, sleep for a second and then dump the output from PS to a file on the flash drive so this is not all that useful it's just a quick test of functionality and as you see in the loop folder we have the output of PS from my TV. Uh, you can run pretty much everything you want to in here. The TV's operating system is a little bit interesting. Uh, it is Linux based, but the user land is a little bit interesting. There's BusyBox in there, so you get quite a bit of freedom. Uh, so you can, you know, one of the things I did first was like dump the entire list of all the files on the TV just so I could have an index of everything that was on there. You can also copy files out. Uh, you could probably copy files into the TV as well if you wanted. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much the the extent of what I have done so far. Um, I hope that if th anyone's looking for info on this, maybe you wanted to try it, that I included everything necessary. If I didn't, please do let me know. Uh, and, yeah, it was fun. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you around.